Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today, and this is long awaited, I know you guys have been asking for this for a long time, we're gonna do another decluttering video and I'm gonna do this as a series. I'm gonna go through my entire makeup collection because I tell you what, the drawers in this room are a situation. It is, I mean, do I have hoarding tendencies? Yes. Do I have too much makeup? Uh, yes. And is a lot of it expired? Yes, I need to go through it. I know it's so bad. So uh, we've already done foundations. If you've not seen my foundation decluttering video, I will link it on the screen right now. I'll also pop it down in the description bar. Foundations are done. Although to be fair, I feel like I could probably, I could probably do them again. Like it's, it's been a while. But today we're going to do primers and I've chosen primers because literally my primer drawer is so full that I cannot even get it shut anymore and it is doing my head in. So if you want to see me declutter all of my primers, we're basically going to pull everything out of the drawer and then I'm going to go through like what I'm throwing out and why I'm throwing it out. Um, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, here we are. This is the primer drawer and I wasn't kidding when I said, like literally, <laughs> it's jammed open because it's so full. So I've got a big box here in front of us as well. I'm gonna chuck uh, in here all the things that I'm gonna get rid of, all the things that I'm gonna throw out. Um, and then I've got another box for the things that we're gonna keep and then we'll put all the keeping stuff back in here. Um, also, I've had to pin my hair up because it's so hot and sweaty. Summer has arrived. Well, it's spring here in Australia, but it feels like summer today. So this is what we are working with. Wow, 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 wow. Actually, I might put you guys at a better angle. You might not be able to see well enough there. Hang on. So let's go through this absolute monster of a drawer. Okay, starting out first, the NYX Plump Right Back Primer. I really, really like this. This is a really good hydrating formula. Let's keep her. Tarcha Liquid Canvas. Absolutely obsessed with this. An amazing smoothing and hydrating primer. She's a keeper. The Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Again, an icon. Totally affordable, but super, super effective. It does a really, really good job at smoothing pores and it's only like a few dollars. It's really, really amazing. The Elf Poreless Face Primer. Absolutely hate this. Have spoken many times about how much I hate this, so I don't actually know how it ended up back in here. Let's throw her out. The Dior uh, backstage face and body primer. I mean, this one's okay. It's not like a terrible primer, but it's also not like the worst primer in the world. So I think I'll keep her. Beauty Blender, the level of primer. I feel like this was like quite a heavy silicone pore minimizing primer. She's not a fave. Um, and also I'm 99% sure this is expired. So I'm going to get rid of her. Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I don't... I don't love her. She's, oh, but I also don't hate her. Ugh, I'm a hoarder. I'm going to keep her. Cover Effects Blurring Primer. This one's not too bad, but it is pretty heavy on the silicon and I can't see myself reaching for it every single day, so I'm going to let her go. The Revlon Rose Glow. This is a beautiful, beautiful primer. It gives the skin the prettiest sheen. I love the packaging. I love the finish. I am keeping this. Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte. This one is another awesome one. Really, really good at mattifying. Really good at keeping your makeup in place. She's a keeper. Ula Henriksen Banana Bright. Another keeper. Oh, I love the finish of this on the skin. It just makes your skin look so like plump and bright and glowy. She's got to stay. What's this one here? Oh, but see what I mean? Like it's all like jammed shut. It's shocking. Oh, the Pat McGrath skin fetish. Beautiful, insanely expensive. Uh, sell your soul, sell your children, sell everything, but it is really nice. I'm going to keep her too. So far, this is not going so well. I'm a hoarder. Okay, Hourglass Mineral Veil. Now I know for sure that this particular tube is definitely expired, so we can throw her out. The Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. Again, that has got to be expired. I've not used it for years. Inoxa Pore Vanishing Cream. I don't even think I've ever used this. I don't know why that's in there. NYX Shine Killer. This is a pretty good pore minimizing primer. Uh, does a reasonably good job on the skin. Definitely mattifies, so we'll keep her. The Benefit Pore Fashional Pearl Primer. This is like a pearl version of the Pore Fashional. I struggle with the Pore Fashional because it just, it, it causes my makeup to pretty much transfer off my face immediately. So I'm going to get rid of this. And while I'm at it, I'm going to get rid of the original as well. NYX Bright Maker. I like this. I actually think this is quite a good dupe for the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright. So keep this one. Oh, you guys, my baby. And I'm the Kia Joy Cosmetics Matte Base Primer. I mean, I've got two on the go because I'm so obsessed with this. So obviously, 
She is a keeper. Ciate Watermelon Burst Primer. This is actually surprisingly a hidden gem. I feel like not enough people know about this. It's a very, very hydrating primer. Very pretty on the skin. Um, it just, I love it. it. It's kind of like a gel moisturizer. It's really, really nice. So keep, keep, keep. Revlon Skin Lights. This does not belong in this drawer. So uh, let's move her. NYX Angel Veil. Love this. Uh, a great dupe for the um, Tarcha Primer. Very, very smoothing. Very hydrating. It grips your makeup in place. Really, really love. The original Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. This is actually discontinued now. So I'm sure it is expired. So she's going to go. Also the Marc Jacobs Invisible Coconut Primer expired and discontinued Colourpop all-star matte blur primer I can't remember liking this I feel like I didn't like it so let's get rid of it the ordinary hyalamide photography foundation I'm not sure why this is in here definitely not the right drawer Maybelline master prime with blurring powders I don't remember this formula oh that oh she not oh she nice no I'm not I'm not parting with her no Inglot under makeup base I used to use in my freelance kit a lot but probably well and truly expired so we'll get rid of this one this one is the fenty true matte primer um, I, ca I can't remember i feel like this is an even more matte version of the pro filter i do like it so i'm gonna keep it milk hydro grip primer this is a super popular super vile product it definitely makes your skin really really sticky it makes your makeup stick to your face but if you are oily, you are going to need to touch up with this one. It's very, very hydrating. The She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. I love this stuff. This is another putty primer and it is amazing for minimizing pores and texture. She's a keeper. Oh, okay. These Revlon Prime Pluses. Wow, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Literally obsessed with these. Revlon did such an amazing job of this formula. Uh, each of them have different skincare ingredients to sort of combat different skin issues. So you've got a mattifying, you've got a brightening, and then you've got a smoothing. I love all three of them. I can't part with them. They need to stay. Makeup Forever HD Primer. I did really, really love this. Um, never use it anymore and probably well and truly expired. So we'll get rid of her. The Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. Discontinued and also hate this. It just it's it's too mattifying it's just too much wet and wild cover all primer again cannot remember oh that's a nice lightweight formula yeah she gotta stay she's staying much like the Too Faced primed and poreless i really really like this as well this is a pore minimizing primer that doesn't feel heavy in silicon and um, it definitely grips your makeup so we're keeping her the mecca max oh my matte mattifying primer i'm not entirely sure if i've ever worn this but I'm 99% sure it's expired, so she's going to go. The Dr. Brand Pores No More really was obsessed with this for years and years and years, but I never use it. I just feel like, I don't know, maybe my skin's changed over time and it's almost too mattifying and too pore blurring. Um, I just, I feel like my makeup doesn't look as nice over the top of this. CoverGirl True Blend, love this. This is their skin smoothing formula. Really, really nice. Um... I like this, so I'm keeping it. Benefit the Pore Professional Matte Rescue. I seem to remember this made my foundation peel on top of um, and sort of grip in funny places. So we'll, we'll kiss her goodbye. Oh my God, the Dermalogica Skin Perfect Primer. This, oh my God, literally, it is like skincare and primer in one. It smooths the skin so beautifully well. Um, and it's got SPF 30. It's really, really nice. Okay, this one is from Becca, the backlight priming filter. I mean, Becca as a brand is gone, so there's probably no point in me holding onto this. Ew, why have I got another one of these e.l.f. ones? I don't like it. The NYX Marshmallow Primer. This smells so freaking good. This is kind of like a really good overall do everything kind of primer it's not particularly mattifying it's more of like a hydrating formula but it does wear beautifully underneath makeup touch in soul honey moon this is like a honey jelly primer I have not worn this for years so she can go the elf blurring primer serum i absolutely love this product really really nice smoothing primer and it doesn't impact how long your foundation lasts on your skin it's gorgeous we're keeping her the Too faced cooling matte this is from their um their peach i think it was called the peach perfect collection this was a really really nice one but well and truly expired so she's got to go revlon photo ready i love this primer a really good basic all-rounder does everything she is a keeper the laura mercier pure canvas power primer i quite like this this one's supercharged well basically the concept is that it's supercharged with heaps of skincare ingredients so we'll keep her the mac prep and prime skin base i really really love this as well she's got to stay she's she's an icon l'oreal infallible matter 
clarifying primer. I actually have a feeling that this has been discontinued, but if not, it's probably like three or four years old. She's got to go. Same with this Rimmel one. Well and truly expired, I am sure. It's been living in this drawer underneath the rest of my primers. She cannot stay. The L'Oreal Infallible Luminizing Primer expired. We'll, we'll throw her. Revlon Colorstay. I love anything Revlon Colorstay, so I'm going to keep this one. I mean, look how gross and expired this is. Ew, it's literally solidified. Oh, Nakia, you are disgusting. Cover Effects Blurring Primer. I feel like I already have one of these, don't I? I don't need to. The Hourglass Mineral Veil. This is like a mini travel version. Um, it's, it's expired, so I'm going to get rid of it. A couple of primers from The Ordinary here. The Hylamide uh, Matte 12 and the High Adherence Silicon Primer. I'm going to keep the matte one and I'm going to get rid of the silicon one. Okay, we've got a lot more up the back here. Let's move some things around. Oh my god, do you guys remember this? This is Nikki Tutorial's fault. We all went through a phase where we were using the Nivea Post Shave Balm as a primer on our skin. Nikki Tutorial started it and we were all like, well... Nikki Tutorials wears pink on Wednesdays. We wear pink on Wednesdays. So uh, this, uh, ashamedly, has been in my collection since then. And we're going back about seven years. So she has got to go. This Revlon Photo Ready. I mean, solidified, expired, disgusting. This is one of the original Kat Von D primers. Hate the fact that it's got her name on it. Throwing it out. Australis Bronzing Primer. Napoleon Perto's Autopilot Primer. These are expired for sure. Along with this Australis primer. Oh, here's another Australis one. Color correcting cream. Haven't touched these in years. They've got to be expired. Another Napoleon Purtis primer. I don't really use anything Napoleon Purtis anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. Makeup Revolution Ultra Face Base. Ultra Face Brace Primer. That is a mouthful, um, but I really enjoyed this formula, so I'm going to keep it. Another Australis primer from literal my teenage years. Let's throw her. Mecca Cosmetica Soft Focus Smoothing Primer. I really, 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 really like this formula, but it's expired, so we're going to get rid of it. These Bite Beauty Change Maker Primers. I love both of these. One is a normal to oily and one is a normal to dry. They both work on my skin type, honestly. They're both gorgeous, but I have a feeling that Bite Beauty's been... Like, cancelled as a brand. Are they even still around? Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. Definitely expired as well, but I do remember having an unhealthy obsession with this. Garnier BB Cream. I mean, technically in the wrong drawer, but definitely expired. Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. Oh my god, this is the original Revlon Skin Lights packaging. They discontinued these and then bought them back. I'm so glad that they did because they're awesome. Um, it's like an illuminating, bronzing skin base. Really beautiful. But based on the fact that this is the old packaging, it's definitely expired. It looks like I've got a bunch of little mini uh, setting sprays in here as well. I don't know. Oh, I've got like a whole thing of setting sprays up the back here. Okay. I mean, none of these setting sprays should be in here. Um, so let's get rid of the setting sprays. These are all... So, oh no, that's a primer. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Clearly someone can't keep her life organized. Ooh, e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist. Can anyone remember this formula? <laughs> oh my god, another Australis primer. They are out of control. Also this Nude by Nature Airbrush Mineral Primer. This is really nice. I'm going to keep this and I'm going to get rid of this. The Touch of Silk Canvas. Oh, how I love this. So nice. This is a putty primer again. Um, if you're wanting a cheaper version, obviously the She Glam and the Elf ones um, are very good as well. But I am definitely not throwing this out. I love this. L'Oreal Mattifying Primer. Now this has leaked everywhere, which suggests it's well and truly expired. Bye-bye. The Buy Terry Brightening CC Serum. Oh, heaven in a bottle. Keeping this. Essence Prime and Last Illuminating Primer Gel. I do remember this and I really liked this. She's staying. What have we got? Another setting spray. Bye-bye. This is the Rimmel Matte Primer. And here's another one of the original discontinued Stay Matte Primer. Primers. This is basically the same formula. It's a tiny little bit different, but this is a new one. This is the old one. Let's throw out the old one. Another NYX Angel Veil. I mean, clearly I'm obsessed. Uh, I don't need two of them though, so we'll get rid of one. Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer. I can't remember this, but based on the fact that it's got hyaluronic acid in it, I feel like I'd probably love it. Don't even know what this is. Don't even think I've ever used it. NYX Pore Filler. Not a bad formula, um, but I feel feel like I've got the... Oh no, it's the Shine Killer. Oh gosh, I don't remember the, the difference between the two of these. 
I'm just gonna keep both of them because I'm a hoarder. Fourth Ray Beauty uh, Watermelon Fest Milk. Haven't used this in a long time, gonna get rid of. Same as this little mini Makeup Forever uh, Mattifying Primer. I'll probably never use that again, so let's throw that out. Ooh, we got a sneaky up the back. Garnier Perfect Blur Smoothing Base Perfector. Can't imagine I've used this any time in the last five years, so we'll get rid of it. Ooh, Benefit Instant Eye Gel. I mean, that's skincare, that shouldn't be in here. And then last but not least, the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. I'm pretty sure I threw out one of these already. Got two, should I just, shall we keep one? Oh, okay, you twisted my arm. I'm gonna keep one. And then I've got some random blotting papers in here as well. Um, I mean, they shouldn't be in here, but here they are. Okay. She's empty. This is really exciting. Let's start putting everything back in now. I'll uh, I'll speed this up too so that you can watch it. Is this how I had it? Oh, my hair is everywhere. Why? Maybe we'll, shall I keep them like that? I feel like that's a good way to do it. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that! Look how much better it looks! <gasps> and the draw shuts. Oh, you're kidding? I can't begin to tell you how good that feels. So I've kind of organized them. I mean, not really, but I've mostly just put the ones in the middle, in the center here that I will definitely use all of the time that are like my most loved, most used. So obviously my very own matte base primer from my brand, Nikia Dry Cosmetics, the Tarcha Silk Canvas, both the putty and the liquid one I love. Um, NYX Angel Veil, that Revlon one I was raving on about. It's so beautiful. The Pat McGrath and the e.l.f. Blurring Serum Primer. These are probably my most used, followed up by like these. Oh, sorry, that one does not go in there. Um, followed up by these. And then the rest are sort of just like other random stuff. Um, I probably could organize them, you know, mattifying and hydrating, but I don't know. I'm kind of feeling... I'm liking how this is looking. I'm happy. I'm feeling good. Oh, this is so exciting. Well, there you go, guys. That was my huge uh, primer decluttering video. I hope that you found it interesting to watch. Um, I don't know. There's something soothing. I personally love watching declutter videos. Like I could spend hours on YouTube watching people just like go through their drawers and organize things. It's a thing of mine. Okay. I, I don't know, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed watching me do it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a comment down below. Let me know that you did like it and let me know what you want me to see declutter next. I mean, we could do it in the order that we apply the products. So, you know, today's primer, I've already done foundation, like I said, but maybe next we could do concealers and then we could do, you know, we could do it in that order. But I do hope that you enjoy it. I love you all heaps and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.